Ignatius47 here, and welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, where did he go? Tall grass. There's a sword and shield. The last vampire hunter was right here. Just kind of chillaxing. <laughs> Having a good time, you know. Walking around with sword and shield drawn. Took him out. Because, why not? I'm going to go back and report to... Oh, Count Hasseldor. It's been two weeks since I recorded, and I, was, I had to get my bearings on the controls and what's going on first, so I used that time to run out here, kill the guy. Didn't record it because it was like three or four arrows, and that was pretty much it. There was no one around, so I don't think I got caught doing that. I guess we'll see once we get into the courtyard here. Not much we can do about it otherwise. I think we're good. Excellent. No, I need to go this way, huh? Is there a secret door right there? I seem to recall there being some kind of secret door in this place. But I don't remember. Does it matter? Not really, anyway. Where are you, sir? Can I go back here without causing undue hassle? What the hell? Is there a door that I'm missing here? Yes. What time is it? Damn it. Well, I do have Chameleon on. Let's go ahead and put the bow away. That'll be good. The weird little blurry line out the, uh, off the freaking screen. Oh! I have the key. How did I get the key? Oh! From, uh, from that one dude. That, that, that... The previous a hole. Come on. Shit. Excellent. Hmm. I don't know who that is, but it's not who I need. We're gonna sneak in here. Shit. Is it up this way? This guy. Do I have his key? Yeah, uh, no, I do not. <sighs> nope. Be nice. Good. Shit. I'm going to be, uh, oh, oh, I got to talk to you guys about this. I did a little stint of uh, Skyrim. Uh, I wouldn't say it was like 79 videos, which, by the way, is a very small stint within Skyrim. But it turns out that here in a couple of months, in October to be exact, we're getting... I don't remember this place. That's cool. Looks rad. I'm, I'm digging it a lot. That's boss. Anyway, um, we're getting remastered Skyrim on the Xbox One and PS4. I'll probably be getting it on PS4 because my Xbox One is filled with Fallout 4 right now, and I don't want to remove that just yet because I'm not done recording it. With like the DLCs and everything, I got, I got some freaking boss mods too. By the way, uh oh. Get out of here. Get out of here, lady. Sweet. Wait. She's who I need? Can I just talk to this guy? Is this who I need? Let's see what happens. 
Okay. Now we can discuss the information I have for you. Let's go. Uh, but what? The cavern is silent once more. I would be foolish to think that this might send a message to those who would encroach on my territory. Ah. Information. Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully, when you return to them, their eyes will be open. Indeed. The necromancers, a sign of things to come. Yeah. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil. They are answering his call. While I don't know <sighs> um, quite what purpose he has arrived. I believe oh, shit. Mages is in great danger. Manny Marco. Manny Marco has returned. I remember that name. Nearly invincible. He has established himself somewhere in the north of Syria. <clears throat> this is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Tramon, learns this as soon as possible. Okay. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. That's fair. I have told you all that I... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Uh, Mini Marco, who's that? Old and powerful necromancer. Does he have the same voice as you? Probably, yeah. <laughs> There were two people. Okay. Four people that did the voiceover work for Oblivion. One of them was Patrick Stewart for Uriel Septum. That's all he does. One of them was Sean Bean for Martin Septum, as we all know. Um, and then there were two other people whose names I do not recall offhand. They're not super famous or whatever. Although they, I guess they would be in the realm of voice acting maybe I don't know uh, but there were there was one guy for all the guy voices and one girl for the girl voices and that's fine I'm not I'm not knocking it it's just strange Return to your guild and prepare yourself for okay I will I'm vamoosing as fast as my little feet will take me we is this yeah that works there was a shorter way took the like long way through the dining hall that's just silly Beep. so long everybody chameleon is rad i freaking <clears throat> it's amazing especially with your sneak at a hundred Boss. I don't. I don't even remember what kind of items I have. I know my bow. I made. I made Talmaril with lightning damage and some other badassery. But we have a long way. Yeah. All right. That's fine. We have a long way to go here, so we're just gonna fast travel over to the Imperial uh, Arcane University thing. I'm. 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 This is. Not hugely relevant, but for my D&D game, I'm building maps, which you'll see in some of the like newer-ish videos when I start posting those. Um, <coughs> it's fun. I have it, there's there's this really awesome uh, software that I found. It's like a it's it's a it's a CAD kind of software. It's called uh, what's it called? Campaign Cartographer Three, and they have the campaign. That's like for the 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 overall map. They have city map building, and of course you can build dungeons and stuff with it, which is so boss. I can't even begin to tell you how boss it is. Uh, no, shit. What time is it? Oh, that's probably why. Let's let's wait like two hours. I wait. It's cool. I'm not I'm not ashamed to wait or whatever. I'll do whatever we need to do. Um. Does he sleep till noon or some shit? You're a sneaky looking sort. Well, I am. That's fair. Let's go two more hours. Maybe he'll be outside by then. I just don't want to piss off the Mages Guild. It's just such a pain in the ass to get 
Back in good with them. Hey, there you are, brah. You do sleep until almost what noon. News from I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldorf. You're a very happy individual, aren't you? What? That that took the smile away. This is great news in the <laughs> It's like what? <laughs> believe that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. Dude, like no. There are whole caves for the necromancer, I man. Fun to kill. Thank you for the information. Stupid zombies, it though. Save many lives. Freaking disease, disease yos. Thankfully, I have that amazing ring that protects me from poison, disease, and something else. What, what, what was that other thing it did? Uh. No, not that one. Vitality. Paralysis. Ugh. It's... F oh my gosh. It's so damn useful. I forgot where I... Got. Was a quest I got that? Let me know where I got that in the comment section. No. The coolest thing about the new Skyrim, by the way, going, we're kind of bouncing around. Uh, one is the revamp graphics. It's always fun. Super pumped about that. And then the other one is mods. Well, I'll be able to mod it on the PS4, and that's... Bows. What am I supposed to do? Uh, Watery Grave. Yeah. We're not doing that yet. That's the... Dark Brotherhood stuff. Nope. They will only summon the day dread, summon repulsive. I don't worry about that. I've heard an all female gang of thieves. Did I fucking like miss something here? Sneaky looking sort. Shut up. Both the L. Greetings, Warlock. Greetings. I'm No. Good day. There you are. Hey. My attention is focused on the council right now. Oh, <clears throat> right. He'll like summon me or some shit. Hello, All right, we got some time to kill then. Let's do. Hmm, that's a tough decision. What quests do we have right now? I met a Nord named Tolgan. Lifting the Veil is a long quest. Not a bad quest, but long. I've heard rumors of strange happenings in the settlement of Aleswell. Ooh, that's a fun one. Yeah, let's do that. I like it. It's super fun. All right. Um, we don't really have a lot of time to do much... Can I? I'm gonna start at this cave here. It's gonna have freaking mud crabs in front of it. <laughs> I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. See, they're making my dreams come true, right? They're doing the remastered Oblivion. I really want to see. I don't know if they'll be able to pull it off right or whatever, but I would love to see a remastered Morrowind. I mean, the the Solstheim Skyrim DLC is proof that they can do it. It's just, uh, I guess, them finding the time to do it, getting a crew together to do that. Wee! Just jump across the river. Uh, that's fine. Make sure you land before you. Yeah, we've talked about that already. I think. Are there invisible creatures here? Why, yes, there are, as I thought. You see the arrow. <laughs> are you invisible? Oh, hi. You're a bear. It's not nice. Detect life makes that so much easier. Did it go into the water? Is it how far it fell? 
I don't need it or want it. Thanks. But you see, like, in, that's what I love about Skyrim. Like, you can you use most of what you find in order to be able to, you know, craft and things like that. All right. That being said, we are out of time for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Kill some invisible bears. And yeah, we're gonna go figure out why these are invisible. Uh, let's go ahead and pause it in the next video. Till then, oh, sorry, my bad. Till then, Bomba Tuna, we'll see you next video.